now we're doing uh, all sets. Everything made ever. One, go! That too! Let's go! Let's go. The with, level ups in production. With sound, individual sound, by the way. Free so, House of 3000 on Twitter, by the way. Please, Free House of 3000. It's, it's unfair that, you know, it got unbanned and then it got banned again. So. <sighs> we don't know. We only we can only hope, truly. But we can also only hope we go. this goes to a. Quick little uh, 2 0 in favor of Hereda Forget to get a reset and then the true finals. But before we get to that point, I'm going into the future like Raven. We're going back to our grand finals here where Tode is um, <coughs> saucing right now. You might be looking into a doomed timeline instead as Tilde already making quick work of Hereda's first stock, only 73%. And like you were saying before, Hereda has to go through two entire sets and Tilde with such a calm and composed player, like that's a men that's an extreme mental battle. Especially when one combo brings you almost up to speed percentage wise. Look at the reflector usage right there in order to get that vision back onto Hereda and then maneuver that, that momentum into his own favor. That's the difference between Tode never Ooh. coming to Xeno and just like what he knows, right? Mm -hmm. But a nice uh, down smash to catch the short hop back air, putting Hereda on the board, but we might be seeing yet another repeat of Tilde losing a stock into immediately taking the next one. All right, no, Hereda, or yeah, Hereda changing the future. No, he Not didn't. for too long, though. <laughs> Minor did. deviations on the timeline. A little bit, a little alternate timeline just for your effort. But again, Tilde is kind of a master of these combos, and unfortunately, Rob is a master of being humongous. So you're going to fall into these combos, you're going to get, you know, completely obliterated a lot of time with grab into up throw into the uh, back air as well and I, you, you, you know what's gonna happen what do you do oh, as rob i love that laser because you could see hereta did neutral get up got grabbed wanted to like go directly onto the stage once again but tilde using the laser to force hereta back onto the ledge yeah also, uh, wow yeah. <laughs> wow um incredible wow. incredible stuff tilde Truly gameplay. Smash Brothers Ultimate. <laughs> For the Nintendo Switch. Hereda living at 142%, though. A little bit of chip damage to get some, uh, you know, I, I feel like Rob doesn't need more chip damage to get him closer to death. I think a nice clean up smash like that was more than enough. Getting, he was like so far behind Falco and still got up smashed. Rob is big. Rob is big, but so are Falco's feet. He got them <laughs> big old boots. <laughs> he got them the talent. <laughs> Oh my god, he had a little, little Sonic boots. Look at his shoes, look at his Sonic shoes. Yeah, I, I mean, it might be a repeat of what we saw in our in winner's side. You know, again, just for everyone's information, you just tuned in. Tilda is the one who did throw Hereda uh, down to losers. And this is a run back and a half. And it, it was, again, it was 2-0 winner's side. And I think, you know, Hereda warmed up. He's all ready to go. He just got a really clean victory on... Um, on Fawn, on Vivi, on, on a lot of other of our players here, it's kind of just like, oh, you, sh you should be nice and warmed up. And you see I'm going to CNC for some extra space, some extra survive off the top platform as well. But regardless, Tilde kind of works wonders in this stage as well. Yeah, and this was Hereta's counter pick in the winner's side set. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Hereta trying to look for maybe a bit more of a long range game plan. We can already see trying to set up these gyros and not quite finding the conversion out of the up tilt, unfortunately. But the percentages are much more in Hereta's favor than in game one. And now, all right, utilizing that burner to wait out the invincibility. I love it from Hereta. Will the timeline change? Will there be extra credit on Tilde? God, I really hope so, because what Hereta needs right now, every little bit of extra credit he could get in this moment was going to be that much easier to deal with. But when you... 1.8. Incredible. It gets l less and less every game. <laughs> no, it's still extra credit, you know? Yeah, 1.8 is bigger F. than zero. <laughs> and 28% is bigger than 26, you know? Well, yeah. It's good for Tilde. <laughs> Oh man, these up airs, can we get another one? Nah, high ceiling, more trajectory off of the higher percentage is gonna let her live out of that range a little bit longer. And oh, that is interesting. Talent, yeah, yeah. that's definitely Hereda's counter pick working against him. Because we did see in the winner side set, Hereda doing really good at um, edge guarding Tilde. Tilde usually such a difficult player to edge guard, but he just hasn't had the chance at all in this set. 
What a catch, though, oh. with the burner boost. Heard us still in things. We're going to see if he can take us to a game three or if Tilde is one stock away from closing things out here at Xeno 295. I mean, hopefully we get we do get the reset question, uh -oh. but these platforms, oh, you are going away, buddy. You've got to come at the stage, not get edge guard, not get dared, and we don't our efforts. Heretta threatening that Nair big uh, hitbox in order not to get too hit, hit up by Tilde, but we're back in the same situation where it's just Tilde throwing out a bunch of different options that I feel like Heretta doesn't really know what to do against. We're going in with the Nair, we're going in and trying to get the up tilt, but Tilde slightly more slippery, a little bit smaller than Rob, and able to get the connection back here as well. And that's that, that's wraps, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. That was such a good neutral air from Heretta. He played so patiently there at the ledge, but just overextended a little bit, mm -hmm. got caught scrambling, got caught with the side B, and that is an easy GG for Tilde. And that's what we were saying before is, uh, it's fine. It's OK. 2-0 uh, well Tilde, guys. Sorry. <laughs> It was, you know, that set that set went by pretty fast. I could I could see how uh, how it caught you off guard. I mean, no, you're literally no, that's you're literally streamer, so, that's my baby. streamer. That's my streamer. Guys, I literally forgot to put the John, take the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, but regardless, that is Zeno Grand Finals uh, 295 going towards Tilde and Heretta. You know what, getting second place twice in a row, but beating the people that, you know, are, are kind of the, the regular bracket uh, demons, right? Fun, Carflow, for example, Vivi, especially from yesterday. So, in my books, in my books, it's a win. Yeah. It's an absolute Improvement win. Improvement is a win. Yep. And so they're just coming in to do a little, a little jump scare moment, you yeah. know, just, just to appear in New York City and then be like, hi, I'm here to come I'm taking your money now. I'm taking your money and I, uh, I want to eat. Literally taking our lunch money. No, literally, like, bro. <laughs> Please, I'm poor. But regardless, that is a 295, Xeno 295. Uh, down in the books, we do have Xeno 500. 500, oh my 500, god. 500, <laughs> oh my god. Xeno. Five away, guys. 300, that's five away. Five weeks away. Um... So come out. It'd be a really nice one. It'd be super, super fun, super packed, I hope, because it's um, summer and everyone should be quitting their jobs so they can be in their hot girl summer era. But before we get to that, um, no ads. We still but don't have ads. We still have ads, but we can always say them. Come to Zoom Weekly every single Wednesday, 15 dollars in total. Uh, they have Wave A and Wave B, so if you got to work a little bit later than other people, you know, you can just ask Dylan, like, can I get, can I get Wave B, please? And she'll be like, yeah, sure. Um, sign up for, you know, bombs every Monday. Straight bracket, six four man cap. You go in, out. It's very fun. It's all on streams, all on quad stream technology. It's always recorded, uploaded, and sent to YouTube as fast as our new spectrum. Not spectrum. Our new Wi-Fi will allow us. It's so cool, and nice. Follow House on Twitch, not on Twitter, on Facebook, and of course on YouTube. We're about to upload it instantly, as I keep saying. And I think that's it. Oh, DTN. Yeah, go sign for DTN. Uh, the week after Zeno. <laughs> The week after Xeno 300, yeah, just hold that up. That's come good. to the come to Xeno Weekly next Wednesday to pick up one of these, so you have it in your hand. Yeah, just, just stole it from me. <laughs> Got Dude. it. Yeah, QR code. All right, but that's it for us. I'm Masanova. You can find me on Twitter at Masanova with an extra A because the other one's taken by the actual Masanova. And of course, follow Force Armor at the very beautiful Force Armor brand. Look at that. It, easy. Be easy. Complicated. <laughs> <laughs> And thank you, Numbers and Helper, for switching and trying to run stream. That's very difficult, and you guys did as best you can. I'm very appreciate guys a lot. So, Devin, um, come back. <laughs> Fix the ads, Devin. <laughs> Devin, come back. Yeah, All right, love y'all. See you guys next week. Come back to Xeno Weekly next week. Thanks for hanging out. Xeno 300. <laughs>